Hey, my name is James Nicholson and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you had a great weekend. And this video, I wanna talk about flipping houses. Is it still profitable to flip houses? Is it something that you should be doing? Maybe you've been watching Homes Under the Hammer, people buying and selling houses, and you thought, I could do a little bit of that. And so this video, I'm gonna cover everything you need to know about flipping houses, the alternatives, and whether flipping houses is still a good thing to do in 2023. So why is this even a question? Well, the last year or six months primarily has been very uncertain in the property world, for sure. We've had house prices going down. We've had interest rates going up. We've got record inflation and we've still got uncertainty on whether the UK economy will go into a recession. And so all of that gives us an uncertain outcome. Now, during the pandemic and prior to the pandemic, we had a rising market. And so you didn't have to be that skilled in order to, in fact, make money in property. If you just bought somewhere, did it up, and you overpaid even for that job, because the market was on such an upward trend, you just made money anyway. Now, that isn't going to be the market all the time, and it's certainly not the market that we're in today. We've got a flat market so far this year. We've got potential of a downturn, even more like we had at the back end of last year. We've had an interest rate rise already this year as well. And so it's really important to look at these sorts of things when you're looking to do property investments like flipping and know, will it still work and what alternatives will you have as an option? So property flipping. How does it work? Well, that's where you're going to buy a property below market value and you're going to add value to that property. A lot of people buy these from auctions or they buy them off market deals. It's normally not something you'd find with a estate agent. Then you're looking to add value to that property. So could you add an extension? Could you just renovate it, which is the sort of projects that I do? Or I also do things where you add additional bedrooms. So I took a studio flat, turned that into a one bed. I took a one bed, I turned that into a two bed. These are quite straightforward projects to do and you can be in and out of that project very, very quickly. So what do you need to do to get flipping working in this market today? Well, first off, and this has always been the same, but more so right now, you've got to do it pretty fast because you don't know in this market what the market's going to be like six months from now. That's very, very important to understand. You've got to have various options to get it funded as well. So normally with a flip, you would buy that property either with cash or you might buy that on what we call a bridging loan. That's an important consideration as well. And so that really makes a big difference to what your outcome on your deal uh, is gonna be. So if you're buying on a bridging loan, that's costing you money each and every month, you need to be certain that you can get off of that deal. So that's a real, real consideration here. How can you get out of the deal if it doesn't work? So you need to have other options. It can't be just to put it on a mortgage because what if lending stops? That could be a very, very bad deal in that scenario. So options are very, very important. So speed as well. So looking at that, what other things could you consider? Well, what I like to look at doing is actually not flipping the property and keeping it. Now, if you keep the property, you can still get the same money out and you get capital appreciation. And that's really what I do with property is I keep the properties for a number of years. I've had some since 1999. And keeping hold of those properties is where you make real wealth in property. Because on average, every 10 years, your property is going to double in value. And so when you keep it, you're going to avoid all the taxes and stuff like that that will come with flipping a property. So right now, you could buy a property in a limited company to flip. Last year, you had tax of 19%. That corporation tax has just risen to 25%, right? So when you sell your property on the profits that you've made in that deal, you're going to pay 25% tax, which is pretty steep, right? There's also costs of running a business and other things involved in that as well. Now, if you did it in your personal name, you're going to have capital gains, and that's a consideration as well. And that allowance has also dropped. So capital gains, you used to have 
a £12,000 allowance you could get each and every year. That has now dropped to 6 k uh, and so that's down, um, meaning you've got less capital uh, gains allowance. And then when you get taxed on that, you're going to pay 28% tax because it's on property. That's crazy. And to make a deal where you're making that kind of money in an uncertain market is going to be really tough to find something like that. Right. So that's just not likely that that's going to happen, particularly in this market. Now, lots of things will be out of your control there because you might feel it's worth 28 percent. But it's whether the surveyor who are down valuing properties at the moment actually give you that number. So what could you do as an alternative? So let's look at a recent deal that we did. We bought for 60K and we then bought that with cash. This was a property at auction, a two bedroom house. We did the property up for 12. We had about 3K in other costs. And so we were in that property for 75,000 pounds. So this is what you'd be doing with a flip, right? Now we got that property revalued at 100 grand a few months later. So the value was pushed up because the property was disgusting, needed new carpets, new bathrooms, everything just needed sorting out in that property. So we got that to a hundred grand valuation, which was very, very important. Now, if we'd sold that property, we would have paid 25% corporation tax or we would have paid 28% capital gains tax, depending on how we'd structured going into that deal. So a big chunk of that money that we've made as our profit, the 25 grand that we've got sitting there, is really not going to be great. Uh, and so we're, we're actually not going to end up with as much money if we sell it. So what alternatives do we have? Well, the best alternative, and I don't really, I see tons of people flipping properties. And I never really understand why would you do that? Because capital appreciation is where you really get rich in property. And you can get the same kind of money back out by doing this. And that's just to refinance. So if you were to refinance that property there, the new valuation is 100 grand. They will lend you 75 because they will lend you 75% of the value of that property. So 100 grand property, they will lend you 75,000 pounds. That gives us all of our money back, our 60K, our 12K, our 3K. We get all of our money back out of that deal. We've still got our 25% equity in the deal, which covers us on the buy to let mortgage. And then we can take that money out which we couldn't get more than that anyway because of all the taxes and liabilities that we'd have if we flipped it. And then we can go and do a new deal, right? And so that gets us all the money out of the deal. Now, it might not work perfectly every time. You might get slightly downvalued. Uh, you might overpay for your refurbishment. But this is a smarter way than flipping the house. I now have an asset that kicks me out rental income each and every month. And over time, not in this market, but over time, in 10 years from now, that property is definitely going to be worth significantly more than it is today. That is what I would do instead of flipping. I just don't see flipping in this market until we get through this flat period or potentially the drops that some people are expecting. I just don't see why you would be trying to rip, uh, flip properties at the moment. I just think it's a high risk strategy in this market. Definitely not for the faint hearted, definitely not for someone that is new to property investing for sure. You need to be looking at how you can really make every angle safe and secure when you're investing. And I think that refinancing is your better option in today's market. So let me know in the comments what you think. Do like the video, comment below, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're on the way to 5,000 subscribers now. Hopefully we'll hit that in April. You can see yourself uh, below how close we are to 5,000 subscribers. So your subscription will make a big difference. You just hit the bell, uh, hit the button and hit the bell. Simple as that. Check out all the other content on my channel, including this video right here.